Tar Cosmetics, your concealer is number one in America, but I, I think it's time to shape up. Makeup Revolution, your new concealer is being compared to Tarte Shape Tape as the new Tarte Shape Tape, but is it revolutionary? Tarte Cosmetics, I'm sorry my dear, but you are up for elimination. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Thomas. I just hit 200,000 subscribers. Halbert, back at it again with another video. You guys, I hit 200,000 subscribers like four days ago, and I'm already at 230,000 subscribers when I'm filming this. And honestly, you guys, I'm kind of shook. I don't know how to feel. It's just, I thank you guys so much, and it, it just, it means the world to me. And I'm so excited, and I'm hoping to get to 300K by my birthday, which is March 20th. Anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Makeup Revolution Concealer and also comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape. And honestly, Tarte says, you're kind of canceled. I'm gonna be, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna be up front and say it, but Tarte, you're just a teensy bit canceled. We have all come to the consensus that we need a break from Tarte and Tarte Shape Tape and hearing about Tarte Shape Tape. Do, do we all agree? Do we all agree? We're done. We're done with hearing about it. Yeah, I'm done. I'm going to be putting this bad guy to the test today. By the way, I have a brand new camera lens and I'm filming in my new apartment in Los Angeles, California. So if uh, anything looks different or weird, that is why I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna be doing this whole filming setup. There's still some things that I need to, you know, get and that I don't have yet. So hopefully this filming setup isn't too bad and hopefully I don't get out of, too, out of focus too much in this video uh, because I am on manual focus. Kevin is behind the camera right now helping me focus and keeping it in focus. But honestly, it's like really hard to tell if it's in focus or not. Anyways, it's just a hard lens. The autofocus on this lens is kind of garbage. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you a part of my little community, my little family here on YouTube. We're pretty chill over here and we enjoy memes. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you're notified when I do post. And give this video a huge thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get on with this Tarte Shape Tape versus Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Can you tell? Can you tell which side is Tarte Shape Tape and which side is Makeup Revolution? So I, of course, am going to be comparing the Tarte Shape Tape with the Makeup Revolution, the new Makeup Revolution Concealer. I'm actually really excited about this video because I have been looking for an alternative to Tarte Shape Tape because I'm kind of, kind of like not digging Tarte right now, but mm, that's for another video. The applicator definitely does look pretty similar except the Makeup Revolution one is a little bit smaller, and then the Tarte Shape Tape one is definitely bigger. Typically, when I'm wearing Tarte Shape Tape, I wear the shade Fair, but probably today I won't be able to get away with that because I don't have the lightest shade of the Makeup Revolution concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that shade, the shade Fair for you guys, and the Tarte Shape Tape. So that is the shade Fair right there. It actually looks like my foundation shade. And then this is C2 right next to it. C2 from Makeup Revolution is definitely a lot darker. So I also have the shade Fair Neutral. Hmm. The Makeup Revolution one looks pretty, pretty, pretty pink. 2,000 years later. So I do not have any other shades of Tarte Shape Tape, so I guess I want to go in with Fair Neutral and C2 and C2 in the Makeup Revolution. I want to use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder for under my eyes. What else should I tell you guys? I'm using a beauty sponge to blend it out. I don't use brushes. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna first go in with Tarte Shape Tape just because we all know how Tarte Shape Tape is and how it acts and how it performs. Now typically what I do with my Tarte Shape Tape is I kind of go in with Tarte Shape Tape. Like I go in. I like to bring it on the sides of my nose because I have a pretty crooked nose, and then I like to bring it in this way, and then I like a lot of concealer under my eyes, you guys, and then I just kind of like, and then feather it out that way. Ooh, should I use two different beauty blenders? Ooh, okay, could you bring me another one? 
So I'm gonna blend the Tarte Shape Tape out with the Real Technique sponge actually and then do the Makeup Revolution Concealer on this eye with the Damp Beauty Blender. Okay, I'm so flushed with you guys. This new setup is so different for me, but uh, let's, let's get into it. Cool, then taking that Maybelline powder and putting that under the under eye just to kind of bake, I guess. So of course the Tarte Shape Tape blends out nicely. It's a nice powder, or not a nice powder, but a nice concealer. I do like it. Um, it's just, you know, Tarte wants to be problematic. <laughs> okay, so I'm at the Ulta website right here, and it says the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal Concealer is $7. It has already four and a half reviews, or it has four and a half stars already. Um, basically what it says, it's a blendable formulation, it's full coverage, da 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 da, -da and then everyone's saying it's like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this like I would any of my concealer. I like the wand and it feels a lot creamier than Tarte Shape Tape. Definitely a lot creamier than Tarte Shape Tape so far. The undertone looks a little bit more yellow on my under eyes than it did swatched on my hand. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this concealer out with this damp beauty sponge. I'm using a different sponge, I promise. And I'm gonna get my powder. So I'm gonna get my, my powder ready. Powder is ready. Sorry if I like hide my face while doing this. I just really have to see what I'm doing. I'll, I'll try not to. Ooh, oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna quickly set that into place. It's gonna bake my nose for a little bit longer. So I have both on. I will say immediately there's a little bit more creasing going on on this side on this eye, the Makeup Revolution side, um, and a little less creasing on the Tarte Shape Tape side. The Tarte Shape Tape side looks a little bit drier, but to be honest, so far, I really like both, and I really like the Makeup Revolution concealer. I can't see that much of a difference, and the coverage is about the same. I'm actually kind of shook right now because the fact that I can finally use something other than Tarte Shape Tape is making me excited because I feel like I've been using Tarte Shape Tape for so long now. And one, I know you guys are over it and I'm also over using it. And plus when the whole Tarte foundation, the Tarte Shape Tape foundation thing happened, it just turned me off to Tarte completely as a brand. Um, now that's a whole different video. If you guys still want a review on that foundation, let me know. But I honestly don't feel comfortable doing a review on that foundation. In fact, I don't even feel comfortable using the foundation. So, so far I'm really liking the Makeup Revolution Concealer. Honestly, I don't see that much of a difference other than that there's just a little bit more creasing on this side, the Makeup Revolution side, but honestly that's something, it's probably my eyes rather than the actual concealer because I have pretty creasy under eyes. For $7, I think this concealer is pretty good. I'll definitely keep you guys updated, but um, I'm actually really kind of obsessed so far, and I think Tarte has a run for their money. So I'm gonna continue on with the rest of my routine, and then I'll give you my final, final thoughts once the concealer's really been under there for a little bit. So I'm just going to powder my face. Powder the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna just check up on the under eyes, see how they're doing. So far, they still look pretty good. I'm kind of obsessed with this Makeup Revolution Concealer. Honestly, Tarte Shape Tape, you're, you're over, you're done. Okay, so I have my full face on. I'm basically done with everything. And honestly, you guys, I have to say I'm obsessed with this concealer from Makeup Revolution. And honestly, I'm definitely using this concealer more than my Tarte Shape Tape. In fact, 
I think Tarte Shape Tape is going back in the drawer in the, the makeup collection to be stored away for a long period of time. It's time to give it a break and it's time to move on to something better and also cheaper. So, yes, it is approved by me and yes, I definitely do recommend it and I think it's amazing and I do think it's an actual 100% dupe of the Tarte Shape Tape. You know, I thought the Wet n Wild was a pretty good dupe to the um, Tarte Shape Tape, but in fact, Makeup Revolution has came out with a perfect dupe in my opinion, like literally. Tarte Shape Tape is definitely a lot drier and Makeup Revolution is definitely um, a little bit more creamier and maybe a little bit more hydrating than Tarte Shape Tape, so it's not a direct dupe, but when it comes to coverage, I think it's amazing and honestly I like this one a little bit more than Tarte because I hate the fact that Tarte is so drying to be honest. And honestly looking and honestly looking under my eyes again, it looks like the Tarte side is a little bit definitely a little bit drier under my eyes, uh, but that could just be me, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it looks like Tarte sis, you're eliminated. You are um, it's time for you to sashay away. You are done sis. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and again, thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. And again, don't forget to vote for me for the Shorty Awards. That would mean the world to me as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.